Cows make delicious dairy for all of us to enjoy. They also make a lot of something else. Whatever you call it, farmers don't call it waste. On a dairy farm, we're all about closing the cycles. We grow feed to feed our cows. When it comes out the back end of the cows, we call it manure, but it contains all the nutrients that we need to replenish our fields so that we can grow the crops to feed the cows the next year. Farmers know the nutrients need to stay in the soil and out of the waterways in order to produce healthy foods, healthy crops, and a healthy environment. That's why they use a special formula to feed each field the nutrients it needs. We balance how much nutrients are in the manure, how much nutrients are already in the soil, what the crop needs to grow and to figure out exactly how much manure each field needs. Another way some farmers nourish the soil and keep the water near their fields clean is with a practice called manure injection, which buries the manure up to 12 inches in the ground. Farmers pipe the manure from the farm to a tractor in the field, which injects the nutrient-rich manure under the ground. The benefits are big. Fuel emissions are reduced with fewer trucks on the road. You can't smell the manure because the odor is trapped in the ground. And because the manure stays in the ground, nutrients like phosphorus stay in the soil and don't enter the water. A win-win for our waterways and the crops that farmers grow. So if you can get that manure under the surface, then you're gonna have far less likelihood of it running off, say, if you have a rainstorm. If you have healthy, high-functioning soil, you have healthy crops growing, but you also then are protecting the environment, reducing runoff, all of that kind of comes together around soil health. I have never been prouder to be part of uh, the agricultural community than I am right now. We have three generations of our family farming here. My grandchildren are here, and I want our great-grandchildren to be able to stay here as well. And that's part of why we try to do the best job we possibly can. Healthy soil means we have healthy foods to eat, but healthy soil needs to be protected. This rainfall simulator will show how the water is going to move through the ground and how the water is going to move over the ground. So the buckets in front here are going to catch runoff that's funneled across the field and down through this chute and down into this bucket. When a farm field is left bare, the topsoil can get blown away by the wind or washed away by the rain, and the nutrients in the soil can enter our water. That's why farmers are finding innovative ways to keep their soils in place for the health of our land, water, and food supply. Traditionally, what we would do is, after the corn was harvested, we'd plow that field back up and we'd let it sit there all winter long. As we understand the soil movement more, um, we are changing practices and we're applying science. Farmers are thinking about their soils and they're thinking about them in a very different way than they did before. The adoption of cover crops in Vermont has been extremely rapid over the last couple of years. Cover crops are plants that are like a protective blanket for the soil during the winter. That means that a farmer's field is covered with plants year-round. In the spring, farmers plant their regular crops, like corn, that grow through the summer and are harvested in the fall. At the same time, in the fall, farmers plant a protective cover crop, like the cereal grain winter rye that will grow through the winter. Keeping the soil in place during the snow melts and then hopefully during the rains of the spring. That's helping, you know, enrich the organic matter of the soil and keeping the soil in place. The field we're in today, the farmer planted the winter rye and then the spring, it, it survives the winter, it grows. They actually harvested that cover crop as a forage crop to feed their cows and then came in right after and planted without tilling anything and just planted their corn. And that's what we see, you know, growing here today. So we went from having a crop growing from, you know, May to October to now having a crop growing every month of the year. And so the, that plant, that living organism, is doing all sorts of work. And these cover crops, the root systems that they provide in the soil, are actually doing the tillage work themselves. And the worms will travel up and down these root systems and it allows the water to infiltrate down into the soils instead of running off the, the tops. The healthy soil is full of living organic matter that holds water, a lot of water. Each 1% increase in soil organic matter through using cover crops helps soil hold 25,000 gallons more water per acre. 
the more closely we got to natural conditions, the less runoff that occurred. If you look at the back buckets, the no-till and the hayfield and the forest floor show the most amounts of soaking in occurring, and that helps trap the sediment that would come off the field. We are proud at the end of each day. We know that we are doing it in a manner that's good for our animals. We're doing it in a manner that's good for the soil, good for the environment, and good for our families.